One of the coolest features of the iPhone is that you can take video, record video on the fly. So anywhere you are, you pull out your iPhone and you record maybe just that perfect moment or something that you otherwise would have missed. And sometimes within that video, there's a perfect specific moment that you would love to capture as a still or as a picture. So here's how you do it. Uh, first of all, you don't want iPhoto to always open when you connect a camera or iPhone, at least I don't. So if you don't like that happening, you can go to iPhoto and go into the general preferences area and saying that connecting a camera opens no application and it treats an iPhone as a camera. So with iPhoto open, I can see my iPhone right here, but when I connect the iPhone, it won't automatically open. And the reason you want to do that is that you do not want to put movies into iPhoto. That's not the best place to put them. So I'm going to command Q to quit iPhoto and the best place to uh, on your Mac, the best application on your Mac to upload movies is to actually use image capture. So you'll see up here in Spotlight, I've just typed in IMAG, that finds the top hit of image capture. That would also find the application right here for image capture. So image capture is somewhat similar to iPhoto in terms of it displays and shows you kind of a display thumbnails here of all of the movies and pictures that are on your camera or iPhone, but you can delete things off of the camera without having to import them first. And you can move things from your iPhone or camera any Anywhere on your Mac if you don't necessarily want to put them in iPhoto. So this first .mov file here, we're just going to take that one file. We could select multiple files here. As you see me uh, command clicking multiple files and choose to import. I could import all. I have a slider down here that I can use to make these bigger or smaller. But I'm going to take this .mov file here and instead of importing it to iPhoto, I'm just going to import it and put it on my desktop. Now you could come down here and choose other and place it somewhere else on your Mac, but for simplicity, we will just choose desktop and we'll hit import. So now you'll see it right down here that it's importing that .mov file to the desktop. Uh, this is a small file, so it shouldn't take more than just a few seconds. There we go, it's done. So now I've got that file, uh, that .mov file imported. You see the little green checkbox right there. So I'm going to command H to hide image capture. And now here's our little movie file. So now you've got the movie file on your Mac. So now what you can do with it is you could take it and put it into iTunes, drag and drop it on top of the iTunes icon and put a copy there. Uh, you could take it and put it into iMovie. Movie, but you can also take it and put it into QuickTime because there's two things we're going to do here. So I'm just dragging it right down to QuickTime Player. That goes ahead and opens QuickTime. That launches the video. So now this is an 11 second video and I can watch it if I want. All right. Well so that's, uh, you know, if all I want to do is just watch it, that's fine. But there may be a specific moment here in the video that I want to capture. So in this case, uh, this was a swing she made during uh, batting practice. And maybe I want to capture the swing uh, as a still right there, maybe. So if I want to capture that as a still, the easiest way or quickest way without any third party application is just to take a screenshot. So hold down shift command three and that will take a screenshot of your entire screen. Now for most people that screenshot is going to show up on your desktop. Uh, that's what a Mac does by default. I have actually set up screenshots to go to uh, folders. So I have a screenshots and a screenshots 2 down here. So this is going to be in my screenshots 2 folder because I don't like all the screenshots cluttering up my desktop. So if I go down here to screenshots 2 and I go right to the top of the list, there's the screenshot that we took right here at 322 PM. So I left click on top of that and that opens that screenshot inside of an application on your Mac called Preview. So Preview is another application that comes with all Macs that you use to work with PDFs and pictures and photos and that type of thing. So now what I can do is that's the screenshot here, but I don't want all that stuff. I just want this portion. So I come up here if it's not already chosen and I choose Select, Rectangular Selection. And then I can just draw or, or highlight, if you will, the spot that I want to capture. So maybe we just want to take that right there and capture it as a picture. So now I've just highlighted that area. I come up here and I choose crop. So now I've got that picture captured. If I hit command S, that saves it. And it's named at screenshot 2011, uh, 827 at 322 12 p.m. That's fine. What I can do now is take this screenshot drag and drop it right down on top of iPhoto, let it go, that launches iPhoto, and that pulls the picture right into iPhoto and imports it. So now if I go to last import in iPhoto, there's my picture, you'll notice it's named screenshot, but I could very quickly just name this Brooke Swing, and I've got it in iPhoto. Uh, as you know, what you should do is keyword it, uh, assign some things to it so that you can track it, but if I hit the space bar to expand it, that's a capturing of a screenshot from iPhone video.
One other thing that you can do with video is you can trim it. So if I command H to quit iPhoto and I'll just come down here to the quick time player button, bring that back up. I've uh, got the still here, but if I want to, what I could do is this is an 11 second video and maybe I want to trim it down. So maybe you took a couple of minutes of video in your iPhone, but the really funny part is a 30 second uh, portion of that. Then what you do is just come down here and hit this little button there and choose trim or the other option is just the keyboard command, command T and that takes you into trim mode and then what you do is just drag and drop the handles here on the left and right side of the yellow area. You can't trim off multiple portions. You can just basically trim it down to one size. So there's something like that and then just hit the trim button and that trims it down. So that was a 10 or 11 second video that was trimmed down to six seconds and now if I hit play it'll just play that 10 second cut. Look at that dip. So there's uh, just a trimming down video. And then when you're finished, you can just hit Command S. And what it will do is instead of saving over the top of the video that you had, you can do that. You could just go ahead and hit save and overwrite it. But it asks you if you want to save this shortened clip under a different name and leave that 11 second video that we had on your Mac as well. So there's two things that you can do with video on an iPhone. Get it to the Mac and capture a still shot or then trim down the duration.